Boston Bay Phoenix, of course, who uh, did themselves well the first time in an NIT tournament. Nice upset. Huge upset. Who, when, and where? Those are the three things the Phoenix and their fans are concerned with right now. The who, either Kent State or St. Louis University. They'll play each other tonight. The when, looks like it's going to be Tuesday. The where, this is the bad part, on the road. It will not be in Green Bay. So it'll be time to load up the bus and get set for another trip, just like yesterday's. Mark Ewing has a story on a bus ride that GB fans will never forget. Passengers aboard the Phoenix fan bus started way before the sun came up. The journey south to see if the Phoenix would rise seemed to carry some sort of historical significance. I figured that this would be once-in-a-lifetime possibility. I, I wanted to see him play. And with that in mind, 41 passengers, mostly students, all Phoenix fans, headed south. And if getting there was half the fun, then... Getting there was an all-day-long affair. Um, probably about another 200. Now, how far do you think we've gone? Probably about 300. So most of the trip was spent thinking of something to do. We're doing good. I think the best way is to do some little filming and some microphone <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Can I help her? Her, her, her. <laughs> We arrived shortly, somewhere for lunch. Do you know where we are? <laughs> I really have no idea, but... Where, uh, where are we? Lunch was great, though. I don't know. I really enjoyed lunch. Lunch led to what we call bus aerobics. <laughs> and before you could say Carbondale, the end was finally near. I haven't been shot at by anybody. <laughs> I didn't knock the hood off my bus yet. The police escort was nice, but getting off the bus at last was delirious. Well, by the time we got here, it took 10 hours, 41 minutes, and uh, 6 seconds, 426 miles, but in the end, we were here. And the reason they had come so far was the game, and even though the Phoenix fell behind at halftime, they kept the faith. No, we're still in it, definitely. We've got that Phoenix fight left. In the end, the Phoenix came through, and so did their fans. Well, we got to the NIT, we won the first game, we're going to keep going, that's why we're here. We did it. They did it. I think the whole GB fan crowd did it here. In truth, they both did it. The fans on the bus didn't shoot a basket or make a steal, but like the team, they did their part in making a victory as historic and fun as it truly was. At the SIU Arena in Carbondale, Mark Ewing, New Century 11 Sports.